-hmm. If there's one thing the church could do better to serve the youth, what would it be? Serving the youth. Hello everyone, welcome to the very first episode of The Poor. You might be thinking, what the heck is The Poor? It is a place where we're gonna drink like a poor and we're gonna talk, we're gonna solve all the world's problems. My guest today, she is a director of youth. I'm very eager to interview her because I myself am not getting any younger and I need someone to direct my inner child and my youth to come out. So without further ado, with us, uh, Mel Melinda. Melinda. Hi. Melinda. Melinda. Welcome to the poor. Thank you. How did you get sucked into this or told to do this or you couldn't escape? Yeah, I couldn't escape. The first thing we always do in the pour is that we open up a drink. I have opened okay. up for you this first one. This is a mixed berry. You're going to be talking about the youth today and generations and you're a gen... You're, you're a millennial. millennial. You're a mixed bag. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's one of the finest kombuchas you can find at Walgreens. It's disgusting, but okay. You haven't even tried it yet. Have you ever gotten kombucha from Walgreens? This is the first episode. You know what our budget is? I had to cut my own cards. That's what the budget is today. Okay. All right. So it's going to be Thank like a you. sommelier. It's going to have a ni nice little kick at the beginning. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Can't wait until we grow, we get some real drinks. So when you see a client and they come in and they want to find more of their youth, what do you do? Are you putting them on drugs? Are you putting them into hypnosis to explore their inner child? How are you finding their youth as a director of it? Are you serious? I'm just wondering, it says director of youth, and if you know how to direct youth, I'm not getting any younger. Can I get some tips? Not really, no. That, you have to be a youth for me to direct you. Well, this is not gonna work. Okay. If you could have a drink with any superhero in the whole galaxy, who would that be? Black Widow. As a director of youth, do you think that you're kind of better than the youth then? Because you're constantly directing them. No. Okay. All right. I mean, this is a truth-telling show. Next question. Okay. Why don't children or youth go to church anymore? I think some do. Okay. Some of the youth that I work with go without their parents, so. Now why is that? Are you, are you paying them? <laughs> no. Why do you think they come to church then? Community. Mm. Belonging. Mm. Being seen. Does that mean they're not being seen outside? Maybe. Not authentically. Mm. Some people say I'm not authentic on this show. Why do they say that? I don't know. Maybe the Black Widow got me. What would be one piece of advice you have for anyone out there who is trying to work with youth? They need to be available and listen and be willing to learn from them instead of thinking they know the best way. Hmm. But we're older, don't we know more? We know different things. Now, next we're going to try the orange splash. There we go. Oh! That's not. Mm. That's the worst. It's like the dentist. I'm glad we're not sponsored by this. Who is cooler, Pope Francis or Simone Biles? You feel guilty saying the answer? Mm -hmm. I think we all know what you're going to say. You're forgiven. What are your values um, as a millennial? I value work-life balance, working hard and playing hard. That's like a big millennial thing. Technology is a part of the millennial thing, but not as much as Gen Z because we had life with both. What is the value of a Gen Z? They care a lot about, I don't know, achieving. Like they care about like being perceived as competent at things. They care a lot about social justice more than other generations have and inclusion. Uh, safety, feeling safe. They have like vocabulary around mental health and boundaries that we didn't have in the past. So they're pretty cool. So now there's a brand new generation coming up and who's that? Uh, alpha. And what's all the alpha people all about? Are they like the alpha and the omega? Like did they conquer people? I don't think so. Okay. We're still learning. They're still mm. pretty young, so. The research is still in the mix. What are your thoughts about Gen X? Who's Gen X? Mm -hmm. If there's one thing the church could do better to serve the youth, what would it be? Serving the youth. The church likes to ask youth to do things, and the church could do things for the youth instead. 
Why do we get the kids we have now? You gotta meet them where they're at. We do different programming on different days to try to hit different times of the week that, that kids might be available. We try to make it more appealing. <laughs> yeah, we're competing with, with a lot of other things that can be put on a resume or a college application. Are you worried at all about the future of the next generation of kids going to church? And soon it's just gonna be like 10 of us Gen X people sitting around with a Bible, you know, hugging each other? I think they're gonna change the way the church looks. If people are worried about the church changing, I think that's true. But I think they'll, they're gonna mix it up. One of the big parts of Gen Z is that they care about finding truth. That's like their big thing. Like what's true? Is this true or not true? Fake news, all that kind of stuff. So they're, they're looking for truth whatever that is. They'll find truth in church in different places, but they have a different value system. So some of the old ways might have switch. To go. When those kids who are just packed full of sports and drama and all that, mm -hmm. do you just write them off and be like, you know, I'll see you in the afterlife. Do you want it saved or burned? You go to where they are. I go to games. We go to events at school. I chaperoned homecoming last year. Melinda, you are a wonderful director of youth. I don't feel like I've gotten younger, so maybe you need to go to your supervisor and let them know about that. But um, we shared some horrific kombucha yes. together. And so I feel like we're closer now throughout all this. Okay. Thank you for coming on The Poor. I hope you come back soon. Okay. Thank you for coming to The Poor.